YouTube DTPK here with another tutorial. This is for all you Minecraft fans out there that are just too lazy to make their own things. Okay, first thing you're going to need is some SketchUp files, or you can just make your own in SketchUp. I'm using ones I got online. Now, what you want to do is you want to open the file you want converted into Minecraft. Now what you want to do is hit Control A, then you want to hit Component down here under Edit and hit Explode. And you can just keep hitting Explode till you can't no more. See, I'm done here. Um, now you want to do is export your 3D model somewhere you can remember it easy. I'm just going to save mine in a tutorial folder. See, there's my DAE file. Next, you want to open up a program called Blender. You can delete everything here because you don't need it, just because we're using Blender to convert the file. Now you want to hit Import DAE. Now open up your folder where you have everything saved. Now open it. Now you want to select everything of your mesh and you want to hit scale key which is S. I'll scale it down, make it a little bit bigger, anything you want. This is where you make some final changes if you need to. Now you want to hit export wave font object file. Now save that in the folder where you have want everything to be saved. Hit export. It should take less than a second. Now you, you got all that done. Next, you want to open up Object to MC. Now you want to hit this button here. And now you want to navigate to the folder where you saved all your converted files. Now change this to Object. Now uh, your file should pop up in the list. Next thing to do is get your block ID, what you want the model to be built out of. You can find this on the Minecraft wiki. I suggest you save this image here so you won't have to keep opening the site. See there's all your numbers. Okay, I'm going to make mine out of block 74 here. Okay, now you just now type in the number that you want, 74, and hit convert. And hit okay. Try not to click anything while this is doing its thing because it does force close on you randomly. Okay, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video and get back to you when it's done. Okay, I'm back. Object 2MC finally finished converting the mesh of this object into a schematic, which we can later open up in which we can later open up in Minecraft. Okay, now what you want to do is you're going to go to MC Edit right here. You can either create a new world or load one and put the object in. I'm gonna hit create so I don't feel like messing around with much. And I'm gonna go. Then you can change the game type. Okay. Whoops, sorry, I'm just keyboard acting funny. Okay, now. What you want to do is 
you want to do is you want to kind of put your object next to your person so you can find it easily or it'll just get lost. What you do is you want to hit import right here. And I go to your folder where you saved everything. And then it should be the only file to show in there. Now you want to kind of just wait for it to render and then you can move and rotate it. My computers goes so slow with this program. Okay, now you want to hit flip. <sighs> and you want to just keep adjusting it till it eventually, like, the way you want it. Mine's fighting me. Okay, now it should be the way I want it. As soon as it renders, I'll know. <sighs> okay, now. Come on, MC Edit. Okay, that's kind of like how I wanted it. Now I'm going to just paste it right there and then hit import. Now it should stay there. I'm on a blank world right now, so it's probably just going to be all but nothing but ocean. I'm going to hit control S and save it. Now you want it close out of MC edit here. Now open up your Minecraft.